Welcome back to Soft TV, the singer-songwriter series. Once again, my name is Anastasia Francis. And for our second act tonight, we have Kelvin Ng, also known as Smokey, but we'll get into that later. Uh, accompanied by Farid Long, our host on guitar. <laughs> and the first song that they're going to do today is Smokey's Shuffle. Take it away, guys. <laughs> guys that was a pretty awesome tune i really liked it would you like to tell us a little bit about when and how you came up with that song oh okay basically this is a um a, a set opener that i do very often and in, in uh, places like crazy elephant and other bars that i play and um and um basically yeah basically it's just something to warm up the crowd and, and the band is, uh, is itself uh, so that's that's how it came about it yeah so right. it's a it's a warm up kind of it's a warm yeah, up it's song like a set opener kind of yeah when did you come up with it uh well, many years ago uh probably at least 5 6 years ago yeah Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why it's a warm-up song, and that's why he played it for the first song tonight yeah, on Soft yeah, TV. Yeah. They warm Farid up too. <laughs> <laughs> Farid is permanently warmed up. Uh, yeah, you are. You are. It's permanently heated up. Yeah, Only because yeah. I'm looking at you, <laughs> Anthony. Oh, Farid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these men. Anyway. <laughs> All right, Um. so Kelvin, yes. uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about how you got into music? How old were you when you discovered you had this talent that was you know um over overflowing from your soul <laughs> <laughs> i don't know when i started out it was overflowing from my soul my soul uh, i i picked up the harmonica it all started with the harmonica yeah when i was about uh, 17 years old okay yeah and uh, i just you know finally decided okay i'm gonna buy a harmonica at, at that point and um and i just what went did you and, decide to buy it because i've always loved the sound of the harmonica okay. you know since since I was a ki kid, you know, yeah, I, you know, you watch movies and listen to all radio hits and all that, and you hear harmonica. It, it, it always interested me. Yeah. Um, so finally, at the age of seventeen, I said, "Okay, I, I, I'm going to buy a harmonica and just see, you know, what I can do with it." So I went to buy the harmonica, and um, it just never stopped from there. You know, with the harmonica. I, 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 I realized that I was uh, quite natural at picking up simple tunes on it. Okay. And. Um, so I just picked all sorts of funny folk tunes and pop tunes, and and I just played them in day in and day out, and you know, in, in, at home, and uh, drove my family crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As always. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what other instruments do you play? Anything else besides the harmonica? Oh, I, I try to play the guitar, and I'm hopeless at it. I need to take lessons from <laughs> Farid. Yeah, he prom he promised me to give me some lessons. So. Yeah. Okay. Um. There. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. And I sing, of course. Yeah. 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 So when did you start singing? Was it around the time you picked up the harmonica, or before? Or uh, no. I I I picked up the harmonica at seventeen, and uh, 
I jammed around in you know in teenage bands, uh, maybe for a couple of years, and then I, and everybody pointed to me. This you know they usually won't be a singer you know so they will point to me. Hey, you're a harmonica player. You should learn how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> so I cannot take on, you know. I, you know. So I have decided, okay, lah. I'll just go and learn one or two songs to sing. You what know? were the first songs that you learned? Oh, I forgot. They're so long. <laughs> yeah. Um. One of the first songs that I learned. Don't say the was, national anthem. <laughs> no, was the Five Cs written by. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. we're actually gonna hear that later. You're gonna yeah. play that for us tonight, That's right? right? Yeah. 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 I've actually known um, Smokey for a long, long time. And um, we've always wanted to record the five seeds, but we never had a chance. Mm-hmm. So, you know, any, any chance we get to play it live, we'd, we'd do it. So this time it should be quite interesting, yeah? Yeah, it should, should be. So, guys, how did you meet each other, the two of you? Wow, this goes back 20 years, uh, I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe more, more than that. Uh. Yeah, we used to do the, the club scenes. There were a few underground clubs in the past, like Sandman, uh, yeah, Blues, Sandman. Uh, so many, you know. And Smokey was uh, doing the rounds as well. That, and that's how we met up. Yeah. I was thinking, wow, who's this you know, fantastic Dashing club guy. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. But, uh, <laughs> I want you know, his number. I'm straight, so, you know. Uh, well, <laughs> anyway, yes. I'm um, glad you are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his yeah. pants definitely uh, say that today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, I saw a fantastic performance, fantastic hop player, and yeah, we got to become friends. And you know, I'd go to his gigs, and he'll come to my gigs, and we'll jam. Yeah, know, and, and stuff. that's how it all started. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's the second song that you guys have for us today? Uh, it's called "Borrowed Time," um, and I it's kind of like a slow funk number, and uh, um, basically, I I wrote it after two of our mutual friends died. In wow. a single year, and um, yeah, and um, I was quite affected by it, and um, yeah. So af- after a couple of months after the second friend died, I we, we I decided you know to write some put some lyrics together, and and uh, this that's basically what uh, transpired. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the f- maybe we should mention the, the, the our friend's name, but, but okay. yeah, he, you know. Yeah, Corey and uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Damien, Corey yeah. and Damien. Yeah, yeah. yeah Corey Norris and Damien. Uh, we work with them, and they're excellent music- musicians. But um, yeah, yeah. So when did you write this song? Oh, I'm very forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think something like six, seven years ago. I think yeah. So how did you guys know Corey and Damien? Um, were they they were just musicians that jammed with you guys often? Or? Yeah. We played with Corey and uh, Damien not so much, but Corey definitely we played in yeah. bands, you know, and uh, and Corey was playing with uh, Harry Tage. Uh, wow. Okay. Right, yeah. right up to the point of uh, his death. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this song is for them. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it is for them. Yeah. So before we ask them any more questions, let's listen to Borrowed Time. Okay. All right. So take it away, guys. Okay. living We are living on borrowed time As we need to We need to keep and keep and open mind yeah. We are living We are living on Borrowed time Yes, we need to We need to keep and keep and Open mind, yeah Do what you want to do while you can You gotta do what you need to do Make a stand, yeah Yes, you gotta do what you want to do While you can 
Yes, you gotta do what you need to do. Make a stand. Listen, 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 listen to the voice of reason. Yes, you got to listen, 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 listen to the voice of reason. You got to bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. You got to bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. You got to bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. You got to bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. That was a really awesome song. I must say, I really loved it. Hope I didn't mess your song up, Kenuki. It's okay. You don't have to buy me something. Nasi biryani. Nasi biryani. Bakta also can. So, Kelvin, for someone who's been playing for as long as you have, I'm just wondering, what are some of your fondest musical memories? Would you like to share them with us? Um. Yeah, I. Oh, that's quite, there are quite a few. Um, maybe if I, uh, yeah, uh, I remember you know just constantly you know being able to jam with and play with different people. Um, that itself is just you know, um, it, it's it's. Uh, I, I you know I I take pleasure in that yeah and um, um, especially you know meeting people like Farid and the whole gang and you know e even if it's just. Once in a while, you know, it, um, you know, as we get on with age, you know, it's it's good that we we kind of just. Uh, you wait, know. wait a minute! I'm twenty four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you look twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fifty seven. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm not fifty seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, fondest memories. Yeah, um. <laughs> You're the camera crew laughing out of. <laughs> Um, yeah, so 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 sometimes we and when especially when we jam and and the kind of music that I play blues, it's very spontaneous and you know a lot of it's improvisatory you know and uh, and and most I would say at least half the time um, when we jam with different people, um, sparks fly you know yeah. usually in a positive way, <laughs> um, um, and those are the memories that the fond fondest memories I have here. When, uh, and and yeah. Is there any particular night that you can think of that stands out in particular that was so epic <laughs> oh, yeah. that you always always remember? Oh yeah, there's there was once uh, I I I jammed with this uh, Canadian um, acoustic blues uh, guitarist and uh, all I knew there was that I in the morning I got a call from my friend who was pro who who brought him in for a show in es in the Esplanade. Mm -hmm. Um, they said, "Hey, look, uh, can you come and jam with this artist that I, I brought in?" And uh, you know, and and I I've never met Harry Manx. I I don't don't even know of his music. Um, and I just said, "Okay, well, it's just blues, right?" So I just went. I just went and 
went and meet him. And uh, and I, I, we didn't have a single second of rehearsal or you know a minute of rehearsal at all. So we just went into the show cold. Um, um, Where was the show at the uh, Esplanade? The Esplanade, uh, when one of the recital studios. Okay. And, yeah. And um, and it it just uh, when we jam and and everything just came together. It was just you know nothing short of magical and uh, um, and uh, then. You know there was some really good vibe going on there, and uh, and and the crowd uh, could tell and and just really cheered us on. Yeah. yeah. That that sounds like a really great memory. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still jam with him nowadays, or have you lost uh, contact? Uh no, he, he he you know he's I think he's already um uh, he's quite famous in the blue circuit, international blue circuit. Okay. So he comes to Singapore. Uh, he hasn't come back to Singapore since. Yeah, but I I, um, I jammed again with him in uh, Chicago Blues Festival. Oh, uh, that's pretty a cool. Years, uh, a year later, I think. Yeah, yeah. Another fond memory I have of of playing music is also uh, when I I met Stephanie Sun. Uh, I, I played on Stephanie Sun's uh, first album. Yeah, and uh, and I met her in, in a studio, and I was in Circular Road, and. Uh, I, I just didn't know that she was going to be such a big star. Yeah, so I just went in and did my usual session work and I, you know, spent a couple of hours doing my that my track. And after that, we hung out and uh, out, outside on the sofa outside and, we, you know, we talked and I left. And then um, I didn't think much of it later on, you know, because, you know, I, I do quite a fair bit of session work. And a couple of months later, I was taking a late night cab back home. And then I... Uh, there was a song playing on radio and I heard the harmonica part and I realized it was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I, then I asked the taxi uncle, I said, hey, uh, hey, do you know who's, uh, uh, who's, who's, who's this uh, playing? And he said, oh, that's uh, Stephanie's son. And, and, and then, think, think, oh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a lady that I you know, recorded for. And, and then, and then, oh, then the, the uncle told me, hey, uh, She's really famous in Taiwan now. She won some award. Wow, she's like a big thing now. I'm like, wow. So I went to tell my colleagues the next day and then they didn't really believe me. So I went to buy the album. And you know what? The album didn't have, didn't credit me as a harmonica player. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. So oh. But it's okay now. Now, do I'm, soft TV. That's why I'm saying this on the of, the, on official record just to say that I stayed <laughs> <laughs> I played it. What what was the name of this album? No, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but the song was uh, uh, the 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 English uh, term for it was uh, love document. What was yeah. the Chinese word? Yeah, it's a Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, yes. Yeah. What was the name in Chinese? Ai uh, Ching. Uh, I Ching <laughs> <laughs> something yeah, yeah. something. Yeah. Okay, so for those of you Stephanie Sun fans, this guy over here he played the harmonica on I Ching something something. <laughs> got bad memory you know <laughs> so what i kind of you know the vibe that i get from the answers that you've been giving me uh, giving me so far is that when i asked about your fondest memories and things like that yeah. you um you mentioned like you know jamming with this person and then working with this person so it's uh you you feel a lot um you get a lot of you i don't know what i'm trying to say <laughs> so uh you enjoy working with people a lot you yes, enjoy feeding people, off people, yeah, yeah. meeting meeting people. As long as yeah. they're nice and, you know. Yeah. As long as they're nice. Yeah, they're nice. And me, then the good, and the right you know, sparks yeah, fly. Yeah, yeah. Let me say it. Uh, let me say it. Uh, it's called the blues. It's called the blues. Yeah. <laughs> the blues. Yeah. Ah, that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, um, Smokey has got his own band. Maybe you want to tell us a bit about, you know, your, your own private band, your own lineup, what you're doing in, okay. and stuff. Yeah, um, my band is called Skunk Jive. And we play on alternate Thursdays in uh, Crazy Elephant, mm. and um, yeah, it's uh, oh, I've got Clinton Carnegie on guitar. It's a really uh, good guitar player, uh, one of the best in town for the blues rock thing. Um, and I've got uh, David Ng on bass. He's also a very seasoned pro player, and um, you know, glad to have him on board. And and I've got Zayn Muhammad. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we know him very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I met him through uh, uh, Farid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's yeah. We, so if you like blues, rock, uh, kind of music and funk, funk and blues, yeah, come on down. Yeah. What time do you start at Crazy Elephant? Ten o'clock on alternate Thursdays. Yeah. Ten o'clock on alternate Thursdays. Yeah, so, so we announced on the um, Facebook group called "I Drank at the Crazy Elephant" and <laughs> you now announce our gigs there. Yeah. So what about um, your own Facebook? Can people find you online if they want to hear your music? Is there? Uh, do you have a SoundCloud account or a YouTube account or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, we we have a YouTube account, but I've <laughs> I've forgotten the the channel for it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I haven't updated it for a long time. Okay. Yeah, you know. Busy playing the blues, um, and I also have. Uh, what's that? Uh, oh. No, that. Um, what's that website where they the where they uh, they stream your music and all that? Um, SoundCloud. No, the other one. Uh, when they stream, where they stream your music? Yeah, yeah. MySpace, yeah, yeah. Oh, MySpace. I'm very old school. That was yeah, James, yeah, by the yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> the owner. Thank you, of James. Soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you guys so, have a MySpace page. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just Should we search for... Yeah, just look for Skunk Jive. Skunk yeah. Jive, all right. But I think, of course, the best thing would be for everyone to come check you guys out live yeah. because I think that's, you know, that's when you actually experience the whole package, right? That's right, yes. Yeah, that's right. that spark that yeah. you've been talking about. Yeah. The spontaneity, yeah. So, Kelvin, could you tell us a little bit about what sort of barriers you experience um, writing and performing music? Barriers... Um, frankly, not not much. Um, yeah. Um, let me have to think hard about it. <laughs> I mean, there must be. You know, it's not always all fun and games. There must be some. Yeah. You know, obstacles that you have to oh, overcome yeah. and. Oh yeah, I mean, but I, I, this is common to pretty much all band leaders. You know, yeah, you know, it, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of pressure falls on the band leader um, you know when 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 a show is supposed to start and and you, know, you have to put a show together you know I, like me and Fari we were just talking about how a simple thing like you know uh, having equipment set up um, you know and getting the right sound company to to yeah. set up stuff it, 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 it that itself is, is is one chore that okay. you have to you know um, have to you have to keep a lid on and and, and you know make sure everything uh, happen uh, is it, it, there when you need them mm -hmm. yeah um, so that's not really a barrier but you know um, sometimes unless I'm playing in bars like yeah, it, uh, um, bars that I'm, I'm used to playing in um, uh, if it's one off uh, event in some venue then you know you have to make sure you know that be doubly sure that everything falls in place yeah and if, if one of your band member falls six you need to have you have to have substitute on standby, you know, sometimes at very short notice. So, so I wouldn't say it's a barrier, but... Yeah. Well, actually, I kind of agree with you that, you know, having the right equipment yeah. and, like, you know, having all the equipment properly set up yeah. and having a good sound guy, that is, you know, if you don't have all those things, yeah. that can be a barrier because even if you're a great musician without That's proper true. equipment, without proper That's true. sound... Your, your sound won't come, yeah. come true and then, you know, and then, yeah. So have you actually had to perform a show with really bad sound and and bad uh, equipment? Yeah, with, with less than optimal tone. Um, yeah, I'm very particular about <laughs> less uh, than optimal. That's a nice yeah, way to yeah. say it. Yes. Yeah, um, I'm particular about sound, um, but you know, the more you gig, the more how to how to say the more chin chai you become. You chin chai. Know, the more, <laughs> more relaxed. You know, you kind of let the, let things uh, go by. Um, but in, initially, when I first started out, I was you know I must get this sound, I must get this tone. If I'm if I didn't get it, I wouldn't be happy. But now you know you just jam around and you realize you know everybody's trying to do their part, and um, it's just whether you know um, things really fall in place. Yeah. So you try to make the best out of the situation. Yeah. Okay, and when you make mistakes on stage, I'm 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 assuming that of course you do because everybody makes mistakes. Oh yeah, we are all human. <laughs> no, yeah. Smokey never makes mistakes no? on stage. Never. <laughs> I paid him to say that. Every time he says that, I owe him five dollars. But so really? when you when you do <laughs> when you do make a mistake on stage, yeah. how do you handle that? How do you handle the mistake? Oh, I try to be a clown and you know try to. <laughs> Divert their attention, you know. I'll That's just, quite. <laughs> maybe I'll just point to my drama, you know. The drama gets the brunt of, the, you know. I just point to my, hey, 
your zips are done, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because yeah. for like most musicians that I speak to, um, and even for myself, like if I make a mistake, I just try to not show that I've made a mistake. Yeah. But you make a joke out of it, so you divert attention. You know, divert, yeah. yeah. Hey, pirate's zip is undone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, today yeah, his pants very, have no zip, you. just flowers. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's not go there. Yeah. If pirate want to tell us a bit about your pants, <laughs> my <laughs> pants. Okay. Um, well, my sister Dina, she bought it for me when she was in Bali, and thanks a lot. You know, appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> They're comfy. They're real comfy. <laughs> Farid's lost a lot of weight. For those of you um, <laughs> soft TV fans who have been following our episodes, uh, you'll see that Farid basically <laughs> shrank. <laughs> 24, 24. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's forever 24. I tried 30 kgs, 30, 3 zero uh, with daily workouts. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so Farid, what is your favorite part about working with Kelvin? Um... I just like his style of playing blues. He, he's really the blues. You were talking about blues in Singapore. To me, he's the best blues player in Southeast Asia. That's wow. Yeah, yeah, really. I mean it. And um, that's why one of the things we always wanted to do was to, to record the five C's again. Mm -hmm. And uh, we still haven't had a chance to do it. But hopefully, we can do it soon. And you know, and we hope to, to play it today as well. But one thing, Smokey, I've been wanting to know is how, how did you get the nickname Smokey? Yeah, I was actually just about to ask Farid. You read my mind. <laughs> Okay, um, basically, I used to smoke a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> nothing else, nothing else. Let, let me, let's make that official. Um, um, yeah, I used to smoke almost as much as Farid used to. Yeah. Yeah, almost yeah, as yeah. much as Farid used um, to? Up to two or three packs a day. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. And, 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 I, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and, and in the army, I, I, I was taking so many smoke breaks. Until one of my uh, my uh, friend in the army <laughs> said, Hey, you really smoke a lot, are you? We shall call you Smokey. You champion, are you? <laughs> Let's call you Smokey. <laughs> the, um, uh, whatever, like, you know. It's hey. a blue thing. Yeah, you know? and, uh, yeah. and they start telling all my friends, he say, Hey, you, you know, this guy's called Smokey because he smokes so many cigarettes, you know. And, and one of my friends in, uh, uh, in the army camp played music. And he and he knew Farid, and then he told Farid Long, and then Farid Long started announcing it on stage everywhere we jam and played. So even strangers was like, "Hey, you know, uh, yeah, you're Smokey, right?" I said, "How? Yeah, yeah, that's how it happened." Yeah. So it's a lot got to, a lot of it's got to do with Farid. You know, he was a responsible for spreading that. Farid is responsible <laughs> for yeah, yeah. many things. Yeah. Many, many yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but there is there is a happy ending because both Smokey and myself we've given up smoking. Okay. So you know. yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Everybody watching there, remember that you know, smoking doesn't help. That, yeah. Smoking is bad. Bad for your health. Expensive. Pollutes the environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's let's not. We should not all not smoke. <laughs> um. All right, Kelvin. So I'm curious. For someone you know as established in the industry as you, do you still practice? Do you practice at all when you're not on stage? Um, not much. I don't. I don't pr practice uh, all that much anymore. Can I say, you know, like for example, this coming week I'm gonna be gigging five nights a week. So you know, just the fact that physically I got to um, go and play the gigs, and, and and most of them are three or four hours at a stretch. That's that's a lot of practice time for myself. Yeah. I see, that's that. Yeah. yeah. So where are these gigs this week? Can we come and watch them anywhere? Sure. Uh, just for this week, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday at the Crazy Elephant, ten o'clock onwards, um, and Friday and Saturday at Hoo Ha Arab Street. Yeah. Hoo Ha. That's an interesting name. <laughs> Yeah. Talking about hoo ha, you mentioned that I under, I also understand that you're doing this. Um, you're hosting a country gig as well. Yeah. Um. I I'm hosting a blues jam on Friday nights at uh, Hoo Ha Arab Street. I'm also um, co-hosting with Leonard Dakota. Uh, Another uh, country, old friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. Country jam in uh, Hoo Ha Arab Street also. So yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So if you feel like jamming blues or or country, just come on down on the respective days. Right. That's an open invite to everybody for jam sessions, blues or country. Come on down to hoo-ha. Yeah. So, Calvin, what do you do in the day? Do you have a different job or is music your entire life? 
uh, I I'm a website editor. Yeah. In, okay. Yeah, in a, in a website I shouldn't disclose. Okay. Uh, yeah, but um, that's I've been in the editorial line for for last uh, 10, 15 years and. Yeah, in magazines and websites. So I've been, yeah. Wow, that's a completely different persona. Almost, yeah. Yeah, almost, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Two sides different. of the coin. Yeah. And how do you balance music with your everyday obligations? I mean, with the rest of your life. Uh, first, I don't have a family, so that helps. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. That's you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm free to go and play gigs when I I feel like um. um Well, yeah, the first thing is you know you have to make sure that your day job is uh, is not that demanding you know that you um, that by the end of the day you don't feel so tired to too tired to play a gig, yeah, and uh, also um, in in the gigs that I play uh, a lot of it's like you know the blues stuff, so um, it's not really you know you don't have to play everything note for note exactly as as how. Um, um, It was originally planned, so a lot, a lot is just winging it and just jamming and you know feeling spontaneous about playing them. So, so that helps a lot. Yeah. I see. And uh, what's the last song you guys are going to play for us today? That will be Farid Long's yeah. Five Cs. You know this one. Well, in fact, we were ho- we were hoping to get you to sing the backup vocals as well. Yeah? I can try. Well, wait. Before we start, let me see. Let me let, let me just ask you one last question. Okay. <laughs> What um, do you have a message for all the musicians in Singapore that are watching this? I don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, 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 He doesn't. I really don't. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, you know. Uh, Just keep playing music and just enjoy it for exactly what it is, you know. Um, don't play music for for anything else. Just you know, try to be you know, just have a pure love for it, and I and and then you you I think you can uh, go far with it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about the love. Yes. Do you have an opinion on what can be done um, to improve the music society in Singapore? Sorry, the music industry in Singapore. Oh yes, uh, I highlighted this uh, quite a long time. Uh, Maybe in a year, a uh, couple of years ago, in an online magazine interview uh, about how we should have more local music uh, played on 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 our local radio stations, and and I think since then it, it has picked up, and I believe there's a, there's an introduction of a quota uh, in 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 the radio stations, local radio stations, and uh, that's a good sign. And but I think we should uh, still try to encourage. Uh, uh, the the recording of, of of more local music and 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 the promotion of, of local music yeah because um yeah I think I think that's how if, if it, Singapore doesn't doesn't do that for its own uh, musicians and and artists then who else is going to do it for us you know yeah all right so are you guys ready to play the five C's oh, yeah. take it away guys. Come a long way. I wanna get these girls, baby. This is what I say. Gotta have the five seeds. Gotta have the five seeds. Easy to please. It's gotta have the five seeds. You see them down in South Central, looking fine and dandy. And I say, your friends, you don't want no flowers, no candy. You want the five seeds. You want the five C's? Oh, these wanna bees. You just want the five C's. First C career making 50k a year. Mm-hmm. Second C condo don't want no HDB. Third C car, well they don't take the bus. 
Fourth Secret and Fifth Sea Cash. Want the five seed out. Want the five seed. I said they want the five seed. Want the five seed. Oh, these don't want to be. They just want the five seed. Come on, take it home now, Smoke. Making 50k a year. Take him the condo, they don't want no HB. Third C car, yeah, they don't take the bus. Four C credit and fifth C cash. They want the five C. Want the five C. I said they want the five C. Want the five C. All these wanna be inoculate me with the five C. Sing Paul women, come a long way. You wanna get these girls? This is what I say, you gotta have the five C. Have the five C. They want the five C. Want the five C. I like guess just be on me. I say, my woman be messing around behind my back with the old time veteran legend, best in South Asia. Her player by the name of Kevin. Smokey, uh, yeah. <laughs> And it sounds so good. That's why we've got the five C. <laughs> Smokey, man, that man, Smokey. <laughs> all right, that, long. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. All right, that's all we have time for tonight. Uh, if you want to catch Kelvin Smokey Young, uh, you can check him out at Crazy Elephant from 10 p.m. Uh, basically, most nights this week, right? What was it? Uh, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, yeah, Thursday? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and, and uh, Friday and Saturdays in Hoo-Ha, Arab Street. Yeah. That's right. All right, we'll see you guys next time on Soft TV. Once again, my name is Anastasia Francis. Signing off. Good night.